What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. Many have described it as the OJ chase of our time. 30 years ago, OJ Simpson drove a white Ford Bronco down the freeway in LA. Now, Diddy is running from the authorities in a black Gulfstream 5. His jet, which mysteriously disappeared from flight tracker websites, is now back online. And would you look at that? It seems like his private jet has landed in Miami, the Miami area. That is the exact same area that Diddy has a home that was raided by the feds. Also, his home in L.A. was raided by the feds in a massive, massive operation. It looked like a military uh, invasion. Land, air, and sea. His Miami house actually had boats, federal boats, pull up in a sex op, sex sting op for sex trafficking ring. Now, he sent his private jet to Antigua in the Caribbean, and now that jet, it looks like right now, has landed in Miami. Is it going to pick him up? Does this mean he's back on board? What does this mean, ladies and gentlemen, that his jet has now landed in Miami? What we believe happened is there was a ton of evidence from Diddy that was brought to the Caribbean. It was a bunch of evidence from his time, uh, who knows, as like an Intel asset. Everyone's calling him the Jeffrey Epstein of the music industry. And we see no uh, evidence that he's not. In fact, we see a lot of evidence that he is. People are saying that there was piles of evidence on this plane. It was brought to a secure location in the uh, Bahamas, uh, in the Caribbean, and now it's going back to pick up its master, Diddy. His homes were raided in a sex trafficking probe. He's obviously a very bad person. You can see massive computers being hauled out of the plane, uh, electronic devices and everything. Did they get the goods? Was this a cleanup operation? Well, uh, they put all the people inside the house in cuffs, walked them out, frog walked them out effectively. Did he break his silence, though, on all this, saying he's the victim, of course. Rappers say he's the victim of a witch hunt and they slams cops for cuffing his sons. Uh, the attorney for the rapper spoke, but nobody actually knows where the rapper is himself. So he's he's disappeared. Here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen, according to the Los Angeles Times. Where is Diddy? Sean Combs remains in the U.S. amid widening sex trafficking probe. Uh, Combs is, of course, being accused by multiple women of sex trafficking uh, and being a predator. Two days after federal authorities searched his home, sex trafficking, Sean Diddy Combs remains in the United States and vows to fight allegations. Hmm. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it pays off for you. His 17,000 square foot Hombly Hills, 17,000 square foot mansion. Wow. Man, I, th I thought we lived in a uh, structurally racist society. Why does Diddy have a 17,000 square foot mansion? Boy, I pfft, goodness, I, th I thought America was systemically racist. Funny how we never hear about this. And pr probably just down the streets from the uh, Black Lives Matter Founders Mansion, too, who also lives in a mansion in L.A. Paid for with your money, by the way. Where Combs debuted his last album, blah, blah, blah. Sources with knowledge of the situation say Combs was scheduled on Monday to depart for a spring break vacation with his school-aged daughters, but opted to delay the trip after hearing about the search. He still has his passport, they added, meaning he was planning to go international. Well, that's interesting. The sources spoke on the condition of anonymity. They were not uh, allowed to speak publicly. Homeland Security agents did not detain Combs at an executive airport in Miami, but they did stop a plane on the ground. Miami-Dade police officers who accompanied them arrested Brendan Paul, a man in Combs' entourage, after cocaine and marijuana-laced candies were found in his bag. Paul was arrested. He's been described as a mule for Diddy. So Diddy can party. He has a mule uh, who carries all of his drugs for him. There you go. He blasts the military level force during the raid on his home. Uh, this is Diddy at the airport, like wandering around, but he hasn't been seen since. So what the hell's going on? We don't know. We know that his jet just landed in Miami. So this is actually his private jet. And where will this take him? We'll be tracking, baby. We'll be tracking. The reason why I'm tracking is obviously because of the implications of what's been going on with Combs. Check this out. This is a uh, big update. Hidden cameras were found in every room of Diddy's home, and he possesses footage of every person who attended his freakout parties and his house parties that have been going on for decades. Hmm. Have a listen. His freakout parties in attendance 
were celebrities, politicians, athletes, international dignitaries like British royalty, Prince Harry, and music label executives. Lil Rod claims some of the biggest names in the recording industry sponsored these parties with sex workers, drugs, and underage girls. The CEO of Universal Music, Lucian Grange, is named as a defendant. So is the former CEO of Motown Records, Ethiopia, Habert Mariam, and others. Lil Rod says hidden cameras were in every room of Diddy's homes. Lil Rod believes that Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties. Salacious tapes of Hollywood's biggest names, including record CEOs and politicians, doing drugs and cavorting with prostitutes and minors. The complaint argues that these freak-off parties were a business model. Young and up-and-coming talent attended and were promised career opportunities and access to music executives. They were then plied with drugs and alcohol, filmed. Some were blackmailed. There was a quid pro quo, according to the complaint. Lil Rod said not only were these music executives sponsoring these parties, they were handing Diddy large sums of cash that he used to pay for the sex workers and drugs. Something tells me the IRS is going to be interested. Also, uh, his neighbors are saying that uh, women would just show up in massive buses. Uh, that's interesting. Neighbor reveals how SUVs packed with girls in bikinis arrive at the rapper's pad for wild parties. Well, that sounds quite a bit like trafficking to me. Now, certainly uh, the feds don't actually care about trafficking. If they cared about trafficking, human trafficking, they would have shut down the border, right? Joe Biden is the greatest. They would arrest Joe Biden. They would take one of these right up to the White House and arrest Joe Biden because Joe Biden is the largest human trafficker in American history. They don't actually care about that. They care about the fact that Diddy was compromised. This is now my, this is now my heartfelt belief. How did Epstein get all of his money? How did he become famous? Guy doesn't make good music, right? Like, obviously. Like, how, how, did, how, did, how did he become famous? What did he do? Guy was a fed. Guy was a fed. Just like with Epstein, was a honeypot, right? The, your, your government is a organized crime syndicate, okay? Your government operates like the mob. How's the mob operate? Leverage. You got to have leverage on somebody. You got to have a video of them. You got to have information about them. You got to be able to destroy them at any time. Oh, if we just leak this one video out of you doing this one thing on island with it, you know that, remember that one girl? That's how they get you. And then it's like, ah, oh, you, you're going to not want to do X. You're going to want to do Z. Okay, got it? Right. Okay, I'm glad we understand each other. That's how the mob works, right? That's how the mob works. Boy, it'd be, he'd have a bad, he'd be a bad, he'd have a bad day if you didn't close up shop, right? Break your knees with a lead pipe. It's a, it's a slightly more subtle and sophisticated, but it's still the lead pipe, right? Still lead pipe treatment from the mob. So in order to get that kind of leverage, you're going to need an asset. You're going to need like a rat mogul like Diddy. You're going to have to have his house wired with cameras and lights and microphones. And then you're going to have to record all the most powerful and famous people. And then when election time comes around, you're going to be like, oh, hey, uh, you know what, pal? It's uh, probably time for you to endorse Joe Biden, right? You haven't endorsed uh, Joe Biden yet. We found we found that out. And um well, you wouldn't want to wouldn't want to end up like this, would you? Yeah. And that's how it works. So these people, they're criminal extortionists. Uh, governments are criminal enterprises. And this is exactly this is exactly what happened. What people are saying, what the word on the street is, and we trust people like Candace Owens, right? This is what Candace has been saying. OK, like this is what this is what other rappers have been saying. Like, like 50 Cent is out here like having a heyday, a heyday about this. Right. 50 cents out here, like publishing photos of uh, videos, deep fakes of Donald Trump saying Diddy is done. They don't come for you unless they got the case. And then he's been he's been talking about it the whole time. Like guys, been, the guy's been talking about it. 50 cents been selling us for years what Diddy was up to, along with a bunch of other rappers. It's quite remarkable. But listen, man. Um, these guys are all calling Diddy a Fed. Kanye West straight up called him Fed. OK. He said Diddy's a Fed, um, and that these these little house parties that he would have, like what he was doing, he was gathering information, went to a server, and then the CIA is able to call up LeBron James and say, "Hey, uh, we noticed that 
We noticed that you haven't said anything bad about Trump recently. And, you, you, you know, you'd hate to have this. We happen to have in our possession this video of you at this party this one time. And um, you're not you're just not going to you're not going to like what happens when we leak it. And we control the media so we can do whatever we want with it. So you're going to you're going to back Biden, right? You're going to go out and talk a bunch of shit about Trump, right? That's how it works. Kidnap my daughter in public and I didn't have the address of my child. None of these that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though? Travis right? gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these All you fake hard fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks is because you did a deal, you fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be able to do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So y'all niggas shut the f up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You niggas shut the f up about <laughs> you shut the f up about Michael. Right. I mean, Reggie Wright Jr. went as far as to talk about the amount of tapes that Diddy had in his home. How this is like a well-known fact that he's like hiding all of his tapes. I mean, come on. I don't know these guys. I, I don't even, I don't listen to rap music. I can't remember the last time I listened to a rap song. But these guys know everything. And they're just saying it on camera. It's not hard to crack this case. Let's but he need to build a spot over there in Bali for his boy Puffy. Because Puffy need... I warn Keefe D to take his ass over there. There's no extradition laws over there. So I'm warning you now, Puffy. Take your ass over there. Reggie Prediction. I know Puffy is smart enough, and he probably done already cleaned his houses. But sex, sexual predators, what do they do? What do, and we'd be like, damn, why? They treat their sex tapes like, y'all yeah, remember that song, Me and My Girlfriend that Pac did? You know what he was talking about? What was Pac talking about, y'all? And that. Do y'all really know what he's talking about? For those of y'all know what he's talking about, he's talking about a gun, but sexual predators is what hold on to their tapes. And cops know that. So I wouldn't be surprised if some storages or some of Puffy properties be getting raided real soon because they need to get to those tapes. They get one of those tapes with him with those little people that's been making the accusations. Woo, man. <laughs> Done. <laughs> but Puffy the type, here, he'll blow his brains out. Guarantee y'all. <laughs> or do like he did on that, that court screw uh, uh, lie. How he did. We know what you did, Puff. Misa told us. Nigga, you slit your wrist. He gonna do something stupid like that. Yep. Uh, the closest I've ever been to like the rap music industry was I went to a documentary premiere with Candace Owens. Uh, Ray J was there. Kanye was there. Uh, a bunch of other people from the music industry. Kid Rock was there, uh, along with the Aldeans. Jason Aldean and his wife were there. And Candace Owens, who knows a lot about a lot, said, the feds are currently raiding Diddy's house. They knew what he was up to. He's just a fall guy. Saying and protect the people at the top of the ring. They're raiding his house to hide evidence, not to find it. That's how this works. So what was he planning on doing? Was he planning on outing these people? Was he like making claims he shouldn't have been making? Was he getting a little uh, a little sloppy with his business? And they had to just like, they had to just shut it down, shut down the honeypot? I don't know. But that's how they get you. Make a deal with the devil. Uh, expect to get burned. It's your boy, Benny. Make a deal with us. Okay, here's, our, here's us. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All right. And you will get the latest breaking news delivered in the uh, delivered in the uh, best way we can. All right. With a, with, a, with a little bit of entertainment. Please like, share and subscribe it means a lot to us. Where the hell's Diddy? See ya.